Today, we're heading 80 miles east to meet up with my friends from the San Diego Jeep Club for a Women's Day training event. And this just happens to be taking place at one of my favorite trails in San Diego County. It's gonna be a great day, guys. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today guys, I'm really excited to bring you along with me as I head east to one of my favorite trails in San Diego County, which is Valley of the Moon. Now, I'm meeting up with the San Diego Jeep Club for our annual Women's Day training event, which is a great event. We did this last year, and it was so well received. We're really excited to be doing it again this year. Now, what that consists of is basically some off-road training. We're gonna hold a little class, and then we're gonna take folks out on just a small section of Valley of the Moon Trail that's got a few obstacles and have some spotters out there and let them drive through that and build their confidence a little bit and understand what their Jeep is capable of. It's really just going to be a great time. We're going to have some experienced female Jeepers with us that can share their experience with some of the new female Jeepers. Just going to be a great day of fun, camaraderie, and a little bit of training. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video. Just one quick stop for gas before we meet up with the group. And I just wanna mention I am a stickler for hitting the trail with plenty of gas in the tank. You know, my son and I almost ran empty one time out on the trail when we were wheeling alone. Lesson learned. And oh, how about these gas prices out here in the middle of nowhere, California? We had 46 Jeeps total show up for this event. You know, we had some YJs and TJs, XJs, JKs, a JL and a Wagoneer. One of my favorite things about a large event like this is just getting to check out everyone's rigs in the beginning. It's like a big Jeep car show. Plus, it's a great time to catch up with old friends and an opportunity to make some new ones. So Chaffee's here running the table and we got folks that come in and sign in. They got to sign a waiver and then do a quick uh, safety inspection of their vehicle. Just a quick little checklist. It's a nice little thing to have. And then, of course, we're selling some swag. This is a nice little way for we raise some funds for the club. We don't charge any dues. This is just a for fun club. After everyone was aired down, it was time for a driver's meeting and to hold a short little talk on basic spotter hand signals. Let's listen in. How many first timers and new club members do we have today? Welcome back to all the returning members. Thank you. Okay, so we have pretty simple rules here at the club. Uh, we don't charge any dues. Uh, we require that you have a Jeep. Unless you're the president, then you can just have a truck. <laughs> My Jeep is broken and is being repaired. That's why I'm driving the truck today. Um, it's a full truck, so it's okay. Thank and you. It's blue. It it's is still blue. blue. It's exactly. We require you to have a good attitude towards your fellow Jeeper. Have a CB radio. Does anybody here that does not have a CB radio or a ham radio? Get to the dirt part. I'll put on the radio once you hit dirt. But just so in case you guys don't hear me on the radio, once you actually hit dirt after you've gone up the concrete, then you can go into four-wheel drive. So you'll see someone standing off the trail, which is a spot. You will hear them. Driver, go driver, go driver, go passenger, go passenger. Come forward, come forward. Stop, go back, all right? Your job as a driver, watch your spotter, okay? Your spotter knows where your wheels are at, okay? Any questions on that? If anything, you get on the obstacle and you just don't understand the spotter, stop. That lets the spotter know that you, as the driver, don't understand him he will come up to you and talk to you. Okay, what don't you understand? What, what seems to be the problem? You guys work it out, he'll get back into position and get you off the obstacle, okay? Again, I'm Charlie, I am the tail gunner, and that is my Jeep.
right, Amy, this is your first time out and your Jeep's first time out. Yes. What'd you think about today? It's awesome, awesome. Couldn't have got a warmer welcome. Nothing scary about this. The guys made it great. Everyone is awesome. I'm totally hooked. What'd you think about the trail? The trail was really cool. <laughs> really cool. Cannot wait to do it again. More rocks, lots of fun. Right on. Well, thanks for coming out today. Thank you. Well, I'm out here because my boyfriend has a Jeep and I got to drive it today for the first time. And it's a six shift and I didn't break it. Nice, it's a great time. Yes, loved it, thank you. It was a lot of fun. We did Valley of the Moons and I also had a first timer with me and it was a great event, great experience for all the women drivers, the first timers and the experienced ones and it was a good day. I think many of us can recall the first time we were off-road and that first experience when we tackled an obstacle that, well, maybe at that time seemed a little sketchy, but now looking back, it really was pretty easy. Well, many of the ladies here today were experiencing that same first time feeling and grinning from ear to ear the whole time. It was awesome seeing them use their Jeeps like they were meant to. Patty, what was it you loved about today? Just the girls all getting together, the women getting out there and doing it and getting dirty with help from the women and also the men. It's a great club to be in. Right on. All right, so you drove all day. How'd it go? It went fine. It was a lot of fun. What'd you think about the trail? It was cool. It was cool. A lot of loving. I loved it. Right on. Yes. Thank you. The rest of the trail, aside from a few little ruts along the way, was very mild and everyone was really just enjoying the desert scenery, the thrill of off-roading and being out on an adventure and just exploring. It was turning out to be a really great day. After being out on the trail for a few hours, it was time to take a little lunch break and talk about our experiences. Now, the club had previously ran this trail in preparation for this event to make sure we had a good spot to stop with this large convoy of Jeeps for lunch as to not block the trail for others that might be using it, this ended up being a perfect spot.
Uh, it was so awesome. I mean, just the fact that they did it for the women was just amazing. And Amy did such a good job leading the group. It was good. Awesome. I loved it. Let's do it again next year. Rob, I'm all about that. Amy, it was a great day, and you led the whole way. How did it go? It was awesome. Uh, we had a great run. We were out for about four hours, three and a half, four hours, and uh, we did a few obstacles, quite a few obstacles, and they handled it very well. No issues at all. Black Ops team spotted everybody through the obstacle part, and uh, everyone's airing up right now, and we're done. And everybody had a great time. Everybody had a great time. What an amazing day out on the trail, guys. You know, it's just something special about meeting somebody who's never off-roaded their Jeep for the first time. And just to see the excitement once they take it off-road and what it's capable of doing, it's just awesome. And I'm proud to be part of the San Diego Jeep Club. You know, their mission is all about teaching new Jeepers to be safe and responsible out on the trail. I love what they stand for. And really, I'm excited because here in about two weeks, the club is going back to Valley of the Moons just to do a trail cleanup day, which is what it's all about, right? You use it, but then you go back and you make sure that it's there for other folks to use for a long time to come, which is very important. What a great day, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.